Hey guys, new Fall Guys season two is out. Satellite scramble, and we are creating some more skins with Tic Tacs. Mm. Whenever there is a new Fall Guys season, I grab my Tic Tacs and we start creating some beautiful tiny skins. And this time, season two is out. Satellite Scramble. I don't know what you think about it, but I love these themed seasons. This time it's all space, this time it's all astronauts and alien. And we even get the alien skin from Alien vs. Predator, which we will also create today. But we start with a very unique skin, with another alien, but it's... Um, a Fall Guys creation. At least I haven't seen this alien before. It's the one with the mouth wide open and in a in an engineer suit together with some tools and the hand and these two tiny teeth and the eyes, of course. But that's not all. We didn't only get some new skins we got tons of new maps okay it's eight eight new maps and you know how this works i create some tiny fall guys with tic tacs and then i'd like to play with them so if you have a suggestion which map or stage i should create next and then play with these tiny fall guys let me know i'd love to see a new one, a new stage, but it's all up to you. Just write it down in the comments. The video will probably come out in the next two weeks because um, it's a ton of work. And also some of you asked for the new Fortnite season, which just came out and I'll have a close look at this as well. So for our tiny alien guy, we are adding the belt buckle and adding some silver details. And then as promised, also adding the wrench. But we will get there. I just love how these two eyes are looking at you and in the same way not looking at you. The fingers are a little bit complicated to create now that Spock is on board. I have the feeling that everyone is giving the sign. <laughs> also this alien as well. So we put him onto the plate. Subscribe to the channel. Don't miss the next Fall Guys stage game we will create. And the last working step, the legs. For our tiny guy. And we are ready to put him into the oven. After oven hardening, just a few tiny working steps. This is a, an acrylic metallic marker. And we are adding some shiny details. With a transparent polish, we bring the eyes alive. And also gluing the wrench into the hand. And that's it! We switch over to the next guy, the next fall guy we are creating. And you can already guess it because there are not so many very dark ones, black ones. This will be the alien from Alien vs. Predator with a huge head. I'm not a huge fan of this series. <gasps> I actually haven't seen the movies yet, Alien vs. Predator, it's true. But the alien itself looks amazing. The dark, slimy version. Many movies have copied the alien look of the Alien vs. Predator aliens. And what's special about these ones, well, it's a Fall Guy skin, which means we have the eye hole right in the middle and they integrated it by making it the mouth. So after often hardening, we will paint some teeth in there. And I think this will be look quite beautiful. Just adding the feet or the claws and the tail. The tail is missing as the last detail. Maybe we can also bring in some more slime effect with transparent polish. 
after often hardening. But let's see, we start with painting the teeth, the sharp teeth, and then with a transfer polish on the top. Oh yeah, this looks amazing. I love the look. Let's switch over to the next one. We have seen so many crazy skins in the trailer already. And this one is one of my favorites. It's the robotic theme. And this will be the guy with the propeller on top of his head. I'm mixing gold and silver together to get this bright golden look. I don't really like uh, the gold as it is. It's too yellowish. It's too dark, at least for my taste. Now I'm quite curious if any one of you has already played the new Fall Guys season. Um, I haven't, but I think maybe this evening or tomorrow evening, well, I don't know. But I will give it a try. I've seen some of the new stages. They are all confusing. Yeah, <laughs> maybe it's because, of, um, because they are new. Uh, but there is so much going on. We have zero gravity, we have some pipes, tubes, moving objects and also some pretty new game mechanics like the pixel game where you have to recreate the pixel symbol which is shown. Um, somehow it's a new development of the game itself. New mechanics and I really love this if games don't copy the existing, the working concept, but creating new ones. And also the old stages, the old maps were also updated, like um, Tiptoe, I think it was Tiptoe, also Hexagon was changed a lot. We got the new version, Hexaterrestrial, look at this cute guy. Ah. I love the character design on the Fall Guys, maybe because they are that simple. We have the tiny fists. This guy should have the ability to, to fly. Yeah. <laughs> we have um, some mechanic stuff right in the front. Instead of his belly button and just adding the feet. And now let's put him into the oven as well. Look at that, freshly baked, tiny fall guy. Oops, broke off the one half of the propeller. Yeah, why am I painting the golden one with the gold metallic marker? Well, it's just so beautifully shiny. Next one, this is number four for today's video. It's the space cat, the space robot cat. It's not the official name, I don't know the official name, <laughs> but I wanted to include this skin as well. So with some blue right in the middle, coated with white, we have the main play mechanic for this skin, because the eyes and also the pawns have these um, special bright blue signs. This is the belt with some purple. I would guess this is the favorite skin of many of you. <sighs> I don't know. Well, it's a cat. Everyone loves cats. It's a robot, an astronaut cat. Okay, I get it. But it's not that creative. It looks cute, okay. Okay. Uh, I wanted to include it. It can be seen in the trailer a lot, so it's placed um, there many, many times. Is it a cooperation? Is it a crossover with any existing franchise? Oh boy, I should know this. <laughs> well, I'm just here for the clay part. Okay, now the last one. We have one tic tac and coating with pale pink. There is only one human, one flesh-looking guy in the new skins. And this will be Mr. Spock himself. Personally, I would have loved to see a Star Wars crossover. Now we got 
a Star Trek crossover. It's okay. Not a huge fan. But I guess it's a fan favor. Because many of you will love this skin. And it, well, it's recognizable. It's characteristic. It's unique. It's bulky. Well, it looks cute. Especially in the Tic Tac version. We are adding the hair and then we are almost there. We have some face details as well. And the typical Enterprise symbol on front, right on top of the chest. And the ears, the most recognizable detail of all. <laughs> you could already guess it right here, right now, which skin this will be. Now we're almost there. We will have created five skins and you know how this works. I am creating the tiny Tic Tac Fall Guys and next video, well, maybe give me another week. So let's say in two weeks we will bring out another stage, another map, Fall Guys map, where we can play with these tiny Fall Guys skins. Please! This is all for you. Which stage would you like to see them hop on and run around on? Which game would you like to see next? Leave it down in the comments. I will be so thrilled to create but also to play another Fall Guys map with these tiny guys. And the last one, Mr. Spock himself. We will add some golden details on the symbol, on the chest, on the feet and arms and guys, I guess. That's it! Satellite Scramble, my favorite five new skins! Now that we have created the Tiny Fall Guys, which map, which game would you like to play them? Leave it down in the comments. Have an amazing weekend. Stay safe, stay creative. Bye.